Hey guys, today on Will's Workshop, we're going to make a spool holder for the 3D printer. We're going to use this two foot long copper tube, take a bunch of measurements of the printer itself, as well as the spools, and design it up in CAD, and then print it out. Stay tuned as I walk you through that process. Alright, so the first thing we need to measure is the frame of the printer itself. This is the two 8020 aluminum extrusions on the top that you see there in black. The first thing we will measure is the distance between the two extrusions. And then we will measure the width of the extrusion, because that is where the stand will fit around. And then we will measure the slots, the width of the slot, and how far away the slot is from the edge so we can get its position. And finally, we need to measure how deep the slot goes. Next, we need to measure the spool itself, and there's really only one dimension we care about for that, and that is the outside edge of one side of the spool to the edge of the hole on the opposite side. That will give us the height that we need to clear from the top of the printer to the top of the copper tube. And finally, we need to measure the copper tube so we know the size of the groove that we need to make for it. So what I'm going to do here is draw out the basic shape of what I'm going to do. I'm only going to draw out one side of it and then after I extrude it, I'm going to mirror that. That way it will be symmetrical, guaranteed, and it can be easily modified if I need to be. So there you can see I am making the size of the uh, aluminum extrusions with a little bit of a tab that goes into the slot to help support it as well. Um, I made that top diameter uh, for that circle in the middle a little bit bigger than the um, diameter of the copper tube. And I'm basically just making a valley for it to sit in without worrying about it falling out. Uh, after I did that, I extruded it out and then I went ahead and mirrored it. So we got both sides of it now. And then I realized I probably didn't need all this material, so I'm gonna put in some cutouts just to save some material. All right, so then we can put it into Cura to slice it. Uh, this is one of my first times using ABS, so I'm fairly new to it, but I printed this at a extruder temperature of 230 degrees and a bed temperature of 110 degrees and at a speed of 90 millimeters per second. I did fill density of about 40%. I thought that would be strong enough to support the weight of the filament. And now it's time to send it to the printer.
Alright, so I'm about 80% done with the print right now, and one of the two stands is coming out pretty decently, um, but the other one, not so much. It started coming off of the print bed pretty badly, about halfway through the print, um, but I decided to keep it going anyway, so just to see what would happen. See if I can still get a usable part out of it. I might need to cut off the outside part where it started coming off the bed, um, but I think I can still salvage it to be able to use it, and so I didn't waste all this material. So I'm about to stop the print and see if it's still usable. Here you can see just how badly it came off. This could be caused by a couple different reasons, one of them being a bad coverage of either glue or hairspray to help stick it down. Another could be a draft coming in. With ABS, the local environment is very important, especially with an open printer like this one is. Alright, with a little bit of filing, this one, the one that came out pretty well, is able to fit on. It's a bit of a tight fit, but with a bit of a squeeze and a push, it goes on pretty well. This one, on the other hand, the one that lifted up off the print bed surface, that one is not going to fare so well, I'm afraid. So yeah, so this side, as you can see, got severely undersized and this is coming in. So I'll probably end up cutting this off and then just mounting it on just like so. The other side came out pretty well, look, it even snaps in on one side. Alright, so I just got done cutting this leg off that did not form well during printing. I also then filed on the inside of here to give the extra space that it needed, because that also didn't form correctly. But now it's just snapped right in place. And it's in. And then if we install the one that did form well, that is now snapped in. And all we need is our copper tube. Alright, now that this is on, all we need to do is put on the filament. I should be able to fit four spools on it. There you have it, four spools of filament right on top of the printer. This gives easy access straight into the print head, as well as easy changing between filaments. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like and hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time.